Alright, I'm going to try to do a quick sh shotgun review for you. This is the Partner Pump Protector. Uh, hopefully you've already seen the shooting review. Just want to talk about it a little bit. Disassemble it, reassemble it, and uh, just let you know, guys know what I think. Alright, I've only really outfitted this with uh, uh, Uncle Mike's shell holder. Uh, cheap, but it works. Uh, I'll go ahead and start taking it down. First thing you want to do is unscrap, unscrew the end cap here. We have already made sure that this is a uh, unloaded weapon. What I'm doing here, you'll see you can just put your finger in the that little groove and you're just turning it from here to here when you pushing it down and once it comes back up hold on to it a little bit there's a little bit of tension take the spring out from there you can slide the barrel off comes right off now inside here let me get the flashlight for this inside here hopefully this isn't too close to the camera there are two bars, hopefully you can see that, one on the right side and then pretty much identical one on the left side. So what you want to do to get the bolt and the forearm to come out, I believe, that's where I mess with it. It's either the right one, right side or left side, whichever, one, whichever one's kind of obvious needs to be pushed in. And it is the left side if you're holding it like this this side and you just pull it out forearm and bolt come out set that down bolt seems like it's going to fall apart but it's in there it's not coming out so and then this piece just matches up and sits right on top there there's no way to uh, get this wrong. It's not going to go back that way. So, putting it back together. This just sits right on there. It's not a big deal where it's at at this point. And also, I forgot to take the trigger group out. To take the trigger group out, it's, uh, I'm not going to do it, but use something like an allen wrench to push these two pins out the back one comes out really easy this one's a little tougher but comes right out this literally just comes right out perfectly out you don't have to wiggle it and putting it back in same thing put it back in goes straight in put your two pins back in and then continue to foot put it back together and while I have this in my hand I wanted to mention something <clears throat> I don't have them with me right now but uh, to unscrew this if you wanted to replace the forearm super easy I used I bought one of those uh, hole bits for a drill kind of has like a point on the end of it and it was a one and a half I believe that will perfectly fit in there and unscrew it. Uh, there is a tool that came with this, but good luck getting that to work. Um, and I believe they do sell a tool, but something cheap, if you might already have it, is a one inch uh, drill bit. It's the ones that cut holes, have a point at the top, but it fits in there perfect. Alright. Other than that, let's keep going. Put that on, just like we had it. We're basically just going in reverse. Trying to get this camera angle good for you. Alright, once you, once you get it to about there, stop. It's not going to go anymore. Now there's two bars I was talking about. When, when it's going back in, 
for, I believe first you have to, uh, no, nope, you have to get it past the right side, just a little bit, and then push on the left side. More or less, what you're really doing is pushing both bars at the same time, but you just gotta keep, just, you know, I, I just kept going from the right to the left to the right to the left, and then kind of edging it in. It's the easiest way I've found. There might be an easier way, but that's the way I do it. Go ahead and put the barrel back on. What am I doing? Oh, uh, I had to have the bolt back, I forgot. Well, at least we got it on camera. So. Yeah, you have to have the bolt down so this will go on. It's definitely not on. There we go. For some reason, this isn't going back together. This should be down more. Sorry, this just happens to be on camera, but let's see what's going on. Everything looks correct. I just didn't have the barrel in there correctly. I don't know. There you go. It looked like the this was kind of pinching the end right here. It's a little tighter on this side than this side. And it wouldn't allow the barrel to go back in, but we'll keep going. And same thing, you'll find the notch in there. It goes down. You're just going to turn it either way to until it comes back up and it stays up just like that I definitely always kind of push down on the barrel <clears throat> while I'm tightening it just to get the most possible tightest fit right here but there it is. This also won't do nothing with nothing in it. Completely locks up. You have to push that button. No. Uh, that's about it. We've had 25 rounds through it. Nice little shotgun. $200 special, but feels a lot uh, beefier than a uh, Mossberg or not a Mossberg, but a Maverick 88, which is also a $200 shotgun, but this is definitely thicker steel, and it's not too bad. Alright, hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you guys next time.